I'm Paul Maglione. Uh, I am the co-founder of English Attack, uh, which is an online site for learning with entertainment. Uh, this is my third time at IATEFL as a speaker, and uh, so I'm glad to be here, first time in Glasgow. Uh -huh. Excellent. And Paul, can you tell us what's the most interesting or innovative or exciting thing you've seen so far at IATEFL this year? Well, I've been to a lot of good talks so far, but the one which uh, I enjoyed the most and which I thought was the most thought-provoking was Jim Jim Scrivener uh, yesterday, who talked about uh, I, the need for, for, for English teachers to perhaps challenge their learners a little bit more, to be a little bit more demanding in the, cl in the classroom and not so politically correct. And I thought that was uh, an, original, uh, an original piece and, and something which uh, probably is, a, is about overdue. So I enjoyed that very much and I think it has implications for all of us. Okay, thanks. Um, one of the things I've been asking everyone in these interviews uh, is about the positive and negative sides of using technology for education. What are your thoughts on that? Sure. I mean, well, uh, it, it really depends how it's implemented. Uh, uh, technology can be a great, uh, a great facilitator. It can also be a barrier. Uh, a lot of people are not comfortable with technology yet. So I think, first of all, the people who create the platforms have to make them as easy to use and uh, as intuitive as is humanly possible. Uh, and then and there has to be a lot of, uh, initially, a lot of hand-holding uh, to convince teachers that, that this is actually going to be a, a, a something that helps them to teach better, that it helps their learners more efficiently and effectively, uh, and, and ends up uh, widening the possibilities open to educators, mm -hmm. uh, clearly. So, so it really depends how it's implemented. But you never do technology for technology's sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really agree. Um, okay, final thing, English Attack, uh, as far as I understand, has has some games involved in it as well. Uh, there's been a lot of talk recently, one of the interviews we had for Digital Lang recently, someone was talking about gamification. Can sure. you explain a little bit what gamification is or, or, or how much you, you sure. know about sure. it? Sure, sure. I mean, I come from video gaming, so uh, so I have pa you know, years of past experience in this. A uh, very important distinction, which I'll make in my talk uh, tomorrow, is uh, that, that gamification is not the same as games. Uh, gamification is a motivational, ecosystem that you can apply to anything uh, in order to drive people to use that service or that product uh, more often and for longer and to achieve a desired result in terms of the change in their behavior. So it's points, it's badges, it's objectives, uh, it's getting people to progress through a, a certain series of steps to get to a final objective. Uh, and so so English Attack is, is typically a gamified site where the learner uh, is embarks on a sort of journey uh, with intermediate uh, kind of stage points uh, where they, they always feel that they're achieving forward momentum and, and, that, and that's what it's all about. So it's a very, very powerful concept. Okay, Paul, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. My pleasure.